Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Nilakshi and I am really happy to introduce to all of you our guest today who is Rashmi. She's a mystic, a divinator, a healer and she has been helping many many people for decades with her tarot card readings. And today we have her to help us about crystals and how you can use crystals in your life and improve your life immensely. So welcome Rashmi to our channel. Thank you Nalakshi, those are wonderful words about me. But you yourself are a healer and we are quite of the same thing then. Yeah. So today Rashmi will start educating about what are crystals and what they can do for your life. So tell us Rashmi, yeah. what are these? So firstly I'd like to say Nalakshi that I heal not only with the crystals, with many other ways but I am very fond of my crystals and I love doing healing for my clients with them. So uh, they are really fascinating and they're wonderful things. I call them alive, you know, they, they have life with them because, you know, the formation is such, hmm. their lattice formation yeah. inside them, the structures are such that they hold energy in them and they hold vibrations in them. So that's how they vibe with us. Okay. So, and that is how you can heal with them. Okay. Especially when you place them on the different chakras of your body, uh -huh. they can do marvelous things for you. Nice. you know? So uh, now I told you what a crystal is about. So they are different kind of crystal. They are soft, they are hard, but basically they have energy in them. That's what I want the viewers to know. They have energy and that's how they have healing properties. So which crystals are, are we seeing here and uh, what is the difference in between both of these crystals? Because I see some are small and polished and some seem very yeah. raw. Jagged, yeah. So these are rough, these are rough crystals. So they. As you see, they have these edges, these yeah. pointy edges. So these accumulate energy even more. So in your home, you can keep a cluster of these to bring in positive energies. So different crystals, like I said, do different things. Uh, the citrine brings in good luck, money fortune as well. And they're very, it's very good for your health, for your digestive system. But then you have to use a smaller one. For the chakras, you use smaller crystals like this. See, this is the shape. Yeah, this is quite polished. Yeah. And why shape. are they like that again? I said because that's how the energy flows through. It accumulates there and it flows through in a more uh, intense manner. Right? So, so, so if I, if my viewers are going to the market and thinking of purchasing a crystal for them, should they go for the raw big ones or should they go for the small, rounded, shape, polished ones? I say buy all of them okay. because I love my crystals and like I said, different crystals do different things. The rough jagged ones, mm -hmm. they are collected in a cluster like here. Okay. So I keep them in my tarot studio and my healing studio so that uh, to heal my clients as well as to make the energy of that room really positive. The smaller ones you could use once you learn how to heal yourself. Okay. Or if you don't want to heal yourself, you can just carry them around like this is a jade. Now jade is again brings good luck and harmony. So if you want, if you're having problems say in your office, mm -hmm. you know, with your colleagues or your boss, so and you want harmony with mm -hmm. him and a balanced relationship, then you keep this in your purse. You okay. know, so this uh, in your, I mean, in your bag. So and it brings that good energy to good us. energy to you. Yeah, and you can also to improve a relationship, keep it on your bedside table. Okay. Similarly, a rose quartz will improve a relationship. So the smaller crystals, like you have there, yeah, if you see. Give it to you so you yeah. guys can also see. Yeah, so actually this is a fortune bowl that I have created. So not only do I use them for healing the different chakras, but I keep putting a coin. You know, once in a while, whenever I remember any denomination, mm -hmm. a one rupee, five rupee coin, just keep putting inside it. So that is that in itself is symbolic of creating wealth. Wow. So and then you keep this in your living room in the center. So this is like a fortune bowl. And it keeps reminding you that the yeah. fortune is coming, coming to you. To you and if somebody goes to purchase crystals, are they very costly or anybody can afford it? Because I think um, that would be a major feature. In so the crystals are not very costly at all. But you should know that you're buying the correct one. Yeah, how to know the real ones or if they are fake yeah. ones, how to know about that. Yeah. So then firstly, if you are a lay person and you don't know about crystals much, you should go to a known shop. You know, these feng shui shops, there, there they will not give you fake ones. Okay. So I suggest my clients to do that. And then once you start 
vibing with your crystals and you start using them, you hold them against the light and then you know whether they are real or they are made out of plastic or any other material. Okay. You can easily make out and then they glint. Most crystals, you know, they literally talk to you actually. So you look through them, you can feel, you know, that they are real and they are alive. Energy. Yeah, so they have energy and with time, with experience, you will know. And what do you have here? I see this is a jade Buddha. What is this for? Yeah, that's a jade, a real jade which I got from China. So it's a jade crystal made into a Buddha. Into a Buddha, yeah. Okay. So again, a Buddha, as we all know, brings good fortune uh -huh. and also happiness. Generally, mm -hmm. when you rub the stomach of the Buddha, that it brings, and especially the crystal one. Okay. If you rub his stomach, you actually rubbing away your problems. How many sides. times and clockwise or anti-clockwise? <laughs> so, now if you want to take away some negativity or some, some unhappiness, you know, then you do it anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. And then, after you've done it anti-clockwise, give it a positive affirmation. Now, good luck is coming to me and happiness is coming to me. I'm not going to think about this problem. It's over. Then, you rub it clockwise. Clockwise. Yeah. Okay, so one more thing. Even if our viewers have got their crystals at home, how to care for these crystals? Oh, yes. How to store them? That's very, very important, Nilakshi, what you asked me. Uh, firstly, one should not let dust collect on them. Okay. You have to very regularly bathe them, literally bathe them. So they are like, I said, living. So you bathe them in, you take a, again a glass bowl, a big one, mm -hmm. and depending actually on the size of the crystals you have. And you put water and rock salt. Either you can put normal salt if you don't have rock salt, but rock salt is very effective. Okay. So just a spoon of rock salt and put all your crystals in them. Okay. Yeah. And some soft crystals like malachite, mm -hmm. don't, this is a malachite. This now again is for fortune mm -hmm. and for harmony and relationships. So a malachite should be cleansed just under running water okay. and not kept in salt water for too so long. So in tap water? Yeah. So, okay. so soft crystals should be just washed. Okay, not with water. soaked in water. Yeah, not you can soak them but don't put salt I would okay. say yeah but the hard crystals like you see this crystal quartz yes. crystal quartz crystal quartz and uh, this is an amazonite so and even that's an amazonite so these are hard crystals mm -hmm. you can put them in water now this is a smooth one right and, yeah. and apart from uh, running them under water or soaking them in water is there any other way to clean up your crystals okay. and any any effect of the moon and sun energies on them? Yes, yes, I was telling you about that. <laughs> One thing is cleansing them. The other thing is charging them. Yes. Now, when you when you are using your crystals, even when you are not using to heal a client, say, you are using them in your house for positive vibes, positive right. energies. Right. So they somehow uh, collect absorb. either the yeah absorb the negativity or the dust or whatever, they, and they've done their job of cleansing and giving you those positive vibes. So now you must recharge them. You have to recharge them and cleanse them regularly. So but for recharging the harder ones, you can put under the sunlight. Okay. But the softer ones, like I said, the selenite, selenite and the jade, the jade and the malachite. malachite. Those you must put under the moonlight, okay. even the moonstone. So okay. there are many uh, crystals corresponding to the moon actually. So like the moonstone. So you put them under the moonlight and especially when it is a full moon night. Okay. Or it's a growing moon. Do not do it when it's a waning moon. Yes. yes. So it is done on a waxing moon. Okay. Alright. So that is good. And I'm sure there must be several of crystals, hundreds and thousands of crystals out there. Yeah. But for today let's talk for our viewers what are three main crystals that they can start off with on their crystal journey and help improve their life whether it's on love life uh, okay. aspect yeah. or it's on finances or one thing you choose on your own okay. healing me one is the amethyst okay now the amethyst it's really a wonderful beautiful fascinating crystal i call it the wish fulfilling uh, yeah, crystal like, which is this is the big one yeah this is the big one now the small one is somewhere in there yeah. i was looking for it but you so can it's see a, it's yeah. a beautiful It's a purple color, uh, purplish indigo color uh, kind of a crystal. So that you can see this is a big one. But the one that uh, I'm talking about is my crystal which is in there. That's my wish crystal. So what I do with it, it's a flat one. See when you are healing uh, Nilakshi uh, with the crystal, especially the chakras, it has to be flat at the bottom. Right. So take a flat one, 
from these feng shui shops and put it on your forehead. So this is also for people who have insomnia and cannot sleep well at night. Mm -hmm. So 15 minutes or 10 minutes before you go fall out to sleep, uh, put it on your sixth chakra, your, uh, your third eye, third your brow chakra. Right. So put it there and just let your thoughts flow. And with your thoughts, give it affirmations. Mm -hmm. And let it know your wishes. You can give your crystal a name. I give my crystal a name. And then I tell it what I want. Okay. And actually after a few days, you will realize and you will be amazed that oh my god that happened. Wow. That thing really happened. Wow. So you do actually but uh, have faith in it and give it the affirmations. And how and long should we place it? Uh, uh, for minimum, 10 minutes. Minimum 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes, not more than that. Okay. Otherwise it's too much energy and you may not be able to, I mean you will become so alive with the and vibrations you that you make. <laughs> so, so to sleep, 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. And another thing you can do is uh, while uh, you're using it on your forehead, then keep it back in your bedside table drawer. Uh, you can even write your wish on a piece of paper. Okay. And then fold it once, fold it twice. Mm -hmm. And when you fold that piece of paper, it should be folded coming towards, towards you. Us. Then it's become half. Now put it that way and then again towards you, so it becomes one fourth. Okay. So put that under the amethyst. Because I said it's a wishful fully uh, crystal. So, and you can read that paper every day. Okay. And give it the affirmation also. And actually that wish will come true. So I love this crystal. Okay. It's my favorite. Okay, yeah. so you talk to us about amethyst. So it's a wonderful manifestation crystal. You can use it to manifest whatever you wish in your life. So do use it wisely. Now, which other crystal will you educate us about today? Okay, so I'll uh, tell you about a tiger's eye. I was okay. telling you about this tiger's eye, which I give to a number of my clients, especially those who are having problems in their work front, you know, with their careers, their work front, and uh, they want a boost of confidence and a boost of, uh, you know, encouragement, and they want to, you know, reach up there where they want. You know. So it's it's a actually amazing crystal. So it's like a tiger's eye actually. Right. So when you hold it like that mm -hmm. and you move it, mm -hmm. so it moves just like the eye. Right. Yeah. So this is the rough uh, crystal of tiger's eye. So it's about this color, brownish and yellowish. Okay. So the eye is a little yellow. So I mostly give it uh, to my people to wear it in the middle ring in the right hand. Wear it in a ring in the middle finger in the left hand. So that. yeah, so that really gives you a boost and makes you power, feel powerful, and it empowers you. Basically, it's a crystal for empowerment. And the good thing about it is also uh, draws good fortune. Okay. So now the third one we'll talk about is the rose quartz. Yeah. It's I a know. light pink. Yeah, light pink. Uh, so this is again a polished one. Okay. So mostly for when you wear a rose quartz, uh, you wear the polished one and the smooth one. So you wear it like a bracelet. Mm -hmm or you can wear it in a pendant and a heart chip one will bring you love. Okay. So we all know that rose quartz brings love and also if supposing you want to improve a relationship, an ongoing relationship, wear that rose quartz. Yeah and also one thing which I have observed during my healings is like with a crystal uh, something like this, like a very polished and big rounded one, I usually just place it in my hand when I'm meditating and I just leave it there yeah. and all the energy it gets absorbed within you, you feel so much lighter and it opens. Do you feel something like yes. this happens? Because these crystals are very good for meditation, that's a very good point you brought up. Uh, and yes, the Amazonite and the Jade, again, is very good for meditation. So uh, there are particular crystals with, uh, with which you can meditate. Right. So great, that was good. And apart from that, you said that we can keep our crystals on an altar also or by yeah. the bedside but can you elaborate a little bit? Yeah, so the, that she's my goddess Hecate. So to honor her, I keep a particular crystal right at her feet. Okay. Similarly, I have my other angels and my angels are also made of crystals. Like I have the love angel in uh, rose pots. I have a lapis lazuli angel for again wish fulfilling wow. and for your psychic powers. Mm -hmm. So, so these angels and they're all crystals. So my other gods and goddesses also I place uh, crystals around them wow. on the altar. But on the bedside table you can do that for positivity again and to take away negative vibes. Especially when you, a lot of us think a lot at night, you know. So to take away those uh, stress stress feelings, mm -hmm. you know, you have mm -hmm. amethyst is very good. Mm -hmm. Keep a jade, keep a clear crystal uh, 
either a clear, clear crystal, uh, crystal quartz or a normal crystal quartz. Okay. So all these uh, make you calm and peaceful. Put at the bed setting. And then like the fortune bowl, we said yeah. we can put it, I told you, we can put it in the middle of your living room uh -huh. to attract fortune. Wonderful. So that was very informative and uh, I loved all the information that Rashmi gave me and we had been using this over years, her and me. And the crystals have proved amazing in our life to improve different aspects of our lives and we guys can vouch for it. So we have always tried crystals, used it for healing of ourselves and others and I would encourage everybody to go ahead, ask us questions. If you have any questions about the crystal, which is good for you, what you can do, do not forget to write in the comment box. We will get back to you with your questions and answers for that. And along with that, make sure you're subscribing because Rashmi will be here for more sessions and she will be talking about many, many things. Crystals is just one thing that we have scratched the surface with. She is very educated when it comes to all the occult sciences and we'll be having more tarot sessions, more shamanic healing sessions with her. So make sure you're subscribed and connected with us and send in your comments with all the love. So thank you Rashmi thank for you. being here. It was thank lovely you. having you. Thank you. Have a great time everyone. Till next time. Namaste. Namaste.